You know that moment when you work hard all week waiting for that Saturday ride and then you wake up on Saturday and you've got this. Snow in London. Yeah, I shouldn't be really bitching about the weather in London because it's not great all year round, maybe just summer. And being Russian, trust me, I don't mind riding when it's snowing. I even like it, but when it's a proper snow, like this. But in London, for some reason, it feels miserable. That's why I have two options. Option number one, check the weather, still go for a ride. Option number two, go back home into warmth and do something with one of my bikes. And I feel that I'll choose option number two today. So I'll just go home, have a coffee and work on the project that I was planning to work on for quite a while, just didn't have time. I will redesign my Scott Spark cross-country full suspension mountain bike. So let's go. Back to warm. Whew. And when I say redesign, what I really mean is currently my Scott has black and orange colors on it, on the frame. And I want to make it fully black and then design custom decals to put on the frame. I think it will look Let's see. Hmm, <laughs> that definitely feels much better. So here's the bike and that's how it looked before. I've already made some modifications. For example, I changed the fork to a black color Fox SC32 in performance. It doesn't have Kashima coating, but it's fully black, which I like. But that basically was the starting point for that bike. When I was thinking how to redesign the frame, the first thought was give it to a custom paint and then they will repaint it. But it it's so expensive and second they, I will need to take the whole bike apart and third I will need to wait I will need to spend time without my bike so I started looking for a different option because the main color of my frame set is black I thought why don't I buy a black vinyl and cover all the orange beads on the frame so that's what I did I bought a black vinyl roll from eBay I spent just seven pounds for one meter and it should be more than enough to cover the orange beads on my frame and then I started carefully measuring and cutting the small bits of vinyl and it took me a couple of hours to cover the whole frame with black vinyl but I already like how it looks even without the custom decals which I'm planning to make another cool thing about this method apart from no need to take your bike apart no need to wait for the custom paint, no need to pay a lot of money for it, is that if you have any rubbing or small scratches on the frame, you can cover it with this vinyl. I even covered the small rooting hole in the frame because I switched to SRAM XS wireless. Now when the frame is fully black, it's time to design the custom decals, cut them and put them on the frame. But first I needed to come up with the design and that's took me quite a while until I saw that Nike shoe and it was boom this one I like that sketch swoosh sign and I thought I can replicate this but on a Scott logo so after several iterations I finally had this I'm pretty happy about it so next thing would be cutting this thing for logos I bought another piece of vinyl in grey and I also had to buy a plotter which is a, this small device. This is Krika Joy. I found it on eBay for 150 pounds. I know it's not cheap, but I've already used it so many times on all my bikes to cut custom decals uh, for some of my projects, which you might have seen previously. For example, my friend's 3T Explorer. 
And hey, it's still cheaper than repainting your frame. I could also sell the plotter if I didn't need it after the project for the same money. So the cost of the project would be just the cost of two rolls of vinyl and a transfer tape, which is 20 pounds in total. To help with the application of vinyl, I had to steal a hairdryer from my wife's drawer. She wasn't happy about it. As you can see, I've also used the Dremel to add some silver to the chainring. Wow, it already looks like a different bike to me. I wanted to leave the fork untouched because the decals pretty match the color of the vinyl that I bought for the loggers. Uh, but then I thought, why don't I make custom decals for the fork as well to match the style on the frame? Well, I guess another three hours of work for me, but it is what it is. Now the most annoying part of the whole process is to remove all these small bits from the decals and then we can put the transfer tape and transfer it on the fork. Finally, new decals are going on the fork. Quite like it. Actually riding in snow in London is not that bad, especially when you are on a mountain bike. That's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. Subscribe to my channel because in one of my next videos I will be showing how I'll be upgrading my Scott scale maybe not to danger home light but to World Cup light how does it sound to you? anyway, stay tuned and I'll see you soon